Hello, this is Dragonette. Um, I found this news article about this young man. Of course, we've all seen uh, T.K. Waters, uh, the sheriff, defend his officers for doing this. Um, there's conflicting statements um, about this. The family is stating that um, this was another injustice because these officers basically have um, gotten away with beating another young man up and you can see that in his face um, T.K. Waters says that uh, force is ugly and it is. This young man was being stopped for suspicion of purchasing drugs. Not, not that he was purchasing drugs, but for suspicion of it. And because the driver wasn't wearing a seat belt, an officer called for backup. Why did an officer call for backup on a seat belt violation when he could have just written a ticket to begin with? Um, I understand the young men took off, but look at him. Look at him. Yeah, I would have taken off too if I'd have thought that that's what they were going to do to me. Uh, and it appears that they do that to a lot of people. And then this is from the officers. Um, this is what the, the um, statement written out that goes by the body cam footage, the explanation the officers have given. It says that Woods was struck a total of 17 times by the officers, uh, knee strikes um, to the face, elbows, etc., in the eyes. I don't understand why uh, so much force was used for suspicion of purchasing a small amount of drugs and the driver not wearing a seat belt, regardless if he took off or not. Um, of course, like you, I said, you see the, his face and, and knowing that that's what happens, especially to these young black men um, at the drop of a hat or to just young men, period, that, you know, this, I would have taken off too. Um, but the department is trying their best to be transparent, but it took the video recording of a bystander to actually get T.K. Waters, uh, the sheriff there, to release the body camera. And the body camera doesn't really help. Uh, it just back up, backs up the fact that the officers did use, uh, you know, extreme force in this case. That is the news article I found. I hope everyone will like, share, and subscribe. This is Dragonette. Thank you. I got it. I got it. I got it. I can't find it. Oh, they got it stop right, right here. Stop I, right you here. can't see nothing right here. I there. see everything. Just stop right here. Okay. Shit. Got to be video. Right here and stop, please. Oh my god. Will you stop? I'm stopping. Damn, baby, you suck. We miss all the action when we was punching them. I ain't miss shit. I got it. Alright, this is Jacksonville Yankees. You, I missed the beating up. That's crazy. They won't beat no more now. Now we're here, it's crazy. Oh, they're gonna block. They're gonna stand there and block. Oh, they got a shoe off. I'm on the peppers in there. 
I think his name Jeff Peppers. He likes to beat people. Let's see if he's bleeding. I can't get no cussers. I, I, I can't get no more on him. He beat up. He can't get up. Oh my God. That's what happens. I, I got the stick in my way. I, he trying to block it. You got his face, baby? Mm -hmm. I can't get his face. He's standing in the way. I got the pole in my way. It's full up already, ain't it? See the brother man blocking? See how he blocks? Action. Should I move? Want to move over there? No, I want you to leave. I'm ready to go now. You got him. An auditor don't leave right away. Oh, his face is fucked up, baby. I got all that, okay? Yeah, look at how he cares. They care about him. Okay, we did our first cop walk. I can't get no bigger right here. You block this driveway, this person coming up. Uh, I'm back in there. You still got him? Yeah, I still got him. Oh, you can go all the way around. I can go all the way around through there. That's what I'm going to do. No, you ain't got to go around through there. Who's scissors? 
Yeah. You good? Where did you come up to him at, right here? Right here. He was fighting him right here. I, I didn't know where he was. I was all the way down. I'm sure I want the units responding. If we can get um, two or three units to our address at G204 no. Kensington. Um, everybody is in custody from our stop. So we can uh, clear 1033. We just need two or three units over here at our location. What, you, what, do you know the path that he took? Like you seen Tony, huh? Maybe we're running, but we both fell at a big oak tree. Like Are you chasing from the 1050 here? Yeah. Yeah, I thought everybody said Kensington Square. Yeah, but then you said he come up running. Yeah, um, the, the officer who did the traffic stop called out 8204 Kensington. I just wiped your eye. Rip, you got some more gloves? Rip, you got gloves? Clock News, the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office providing context to a video that circulated on social media over the weekend. It released their body camera footage of the incident, which some of which is seen right here. We want to warn you that uh, the graphic nature of the rest of the body camera video may upset some of you. And the mugshot was released today as well. Sheriff T.K. Waters said that he wanted to release the footage to combat any misinformation. This is about the arrest Friday of 24-year-old Lakeian Woods in the San Jose area. You can see his eyes are swollen shut and badly bruised. We heard from Woods' mother today. First, we had a news for Jack's reporter Ariel Schiller who compares the bystander's cell phone video of the incident to what Sheriff Waters had to say about sharing the police body camera video so early on in an investigation. Ariel? Video of 24-year-old Lakian Woods being arrested circulated on social media over the weekend. The video taken by a bystander shows several officers surrounding Woods, slamming him on the ground and forcefully placing him into handcuffs. Jacksonville Sheriff T.K. Waters decided to release body-worn footage because he says some of the circulating cell phone video has been intentionally altered to show an officer kicking Woods after he was in handcuffs. Sheriff Water says although an investigation is underway, at this point it appears officers' use of force was within the agency's protocol. There was force used by arresting detectives, and yes, that force is ugly. But the reality is that all force, all violence is ugly. And just because force is ugly does not mean it is unlawful or contrary to policy. Here's the video right before the foot chase starts with Woods. Police say the truck Woods was riding in was pulled over by police because it was believed to be involved in a drug deal. Woods' brother was also in the vehicle. He gets out and surrenders without incident. You can see he has a handgun in his side pocket. A third person in the car also surrenders. Hey, man. Hey. However, Woods gets out of the vehicle and runs away. An officer chases after him. 
The officer warns Wood that he is going to tase him several times. I'm gonna tase you. He tases him once and it doesn't take, so he tases him a second time, which makes Woods go down. You hear the officer telling Woods to put his hands behind his back. Hey, stay on your stomach. Put your hands behind your back. The officer punches Woods after telling him several times to put his hands behind his back. Put your hands behind your back. The struggle continues and you see Woods on camera bleeding from the face. Behind your back. More officers get involved where you can see one of them kneeing Woods. Sheriff Water says one of those times might have accidentally hit Woods in the face. This last clip shows different perspectives of an officer stretching his leg. This footage was shown in contrast to footage that circulated online implying that, off that officer kicked Woods. Sheriff Water says coming forward today with the video from the body-worn cameras was in an effort to be transparent in the wake of that cell phone footage circulating online. As a 32-year law enforcement officer, I understand the importance of thorough and complete investigations, investigations that are led by facts. One piece of evidence considered in a vacuum devoid of context and other information can lead to faulty and dangerous conclusions. When incomplete cell phone camera footage becomes the basis on which public opinion turns, the results can be equally faulty and dangerous. The investigation is still ongoing. JSO's administrative review is also ongoing. Sheriff Water says the officers seen in the video are still working as of Monday. Reporting in studio, Ariel Schiller, Channel 4, The Local State.